This is Duke University. As far as the, the way that I like to teach, um, I think that it sort of works best. That the most important thing um, is students feeling like they're developing their own solutions to algorithmic problems. Um, and there are a few reasons to that. So one is a confidence and motivation thing. So a lot of students, when they come into a college level mathematical class, have some serious insecurities, um, some serious lack of confidence. Um, sometimes they feel like they're doomed to failure or that they don't know what's going on and things of this nature. One of the things that's really important uh, in a class like this is that you need to make sure that the students themselves come to some of these solutions, these algorithmic solutions to problems uh, in a way that is, is you know, truly their own and that they can, they can own and that they understand that they did that, um, I, I think is really crucial, um, both for developing their skills and for developing that confidence that they really need um, to go forward. For me, what that looks like is giving a lot of open-ended problems, um, not saying, you know, your, your high school algebra class, or it's like, here's a way to do a manipulation, now do this five times, kind of a thing. Uh, but, but you need to leave, leave a little bit of room for how something should be applied or generalized or something like that. And you need to give space for students to potentially fail the first time, um, to ask questions, to get help, to keep going. And in particular, you know, the best way I find to help them in that process uh, is to ask them more questions, to ask them the right kinds of questions, to lead them to a solution that will work but to lead them in such a way that they recognize that actually they're the ones with the intuition. They just needed help in figuring out how to guide that intuition to something that is a concrete solution.